We've just come off the golf course with Liam and we've had a great match, haven't we? It's been fun. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? Now, Liam has been driving the ball after our last lesson, which I'll put a link up here. He's been driving the ball really, really well. I'm very comfortable over the tee on driver, honestly, I am. So we've got him turning slice into a nice little draw. We have, yes. Yeah. But, iron wise. I'm trying to implement what you said yep. into me. And it's getting there, but then sometimes it's not. But then sometimes I'm like, wow, that's brilliant. Exactly. So, a couple of times today we've been catching a little bit heavy. Yes. Yeah, not quite striking it as much as, as we'd like. And, and, and so today I thought it'd be really nice to say, look, we've got the driver sorted. Let's see what we can do to get you striking your irons solid. So we start striking the ground behind the golf ball and start to strike ball, then turf. Yeah. Actually, and again, maybe even turn that into either much, much straighter as opposed to it slicing away. Yeah, love All right. it. Cool. So we're at Charlton Kamadi and we got 165 yards. Five yards in. But no, the wind's changed. <laughs> All right, into the wind a little bit. Yeah. What you got? Well, it's playing 175, so now I'm thinking six iron. Yeah, I think it's a good choice. Okay, so let's see what we do. So you just want me do my thing? Just do your normal thing. Okay. It's yeah, bit, that's bit, so the going, that. A bit hooded, isn't it? A bit fat. Yes, and like, not a draw, it's like a, a pull, isn't it? It's a pull, yeah, 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 okay. So let's have a look at this divot for a second, actually. Okay, divot-wise, good. Yeah. Path, path is good, okay. But what's happening a little bit, you were not quite getting the compression on that shot. Right, okay. All right. So what's tending to happen a little bit here is, is that you're, with that one there, there's a bit of this kind of flick in here going on, right? right. As opposed to, we, what we want to get is his ball, then turf. So I'm flicking my hands. Just kind of flicking, it's a net, it's kind of a lot of slicers do this, right? So what you find with a lot of slicers is they're trying to close in the face and they close it incorrectly, they tend to close it with their shoulder. Make sense? So you like my driving one, now you it was, yeah. the As opposed to, in a sense, this shoulder naturally stays back and we get some compression, you lose compression when you throw the muscle around here and then, yes, you get the club first closed, but you send it left and going left. Yeah. Makes sense? You. Yeah. So what we want to do is get you the sense of, you know, yes, get the club fit for you, feeling like your club first is closing down, but get that compression. So it's real simple exercise, super simple, okay, is setup's looking good, so you've got to keep working on setup like we did in that last video. But what I want you to do is just get the sensation here, see the toe? Yeah. Throw it into the ground behind you, like this for a second, just as a drill, right? And then what I want you to do is, is get that sensation, and then from here, look, push up. Right. right. So we're going to throw the toe into the ground so you get that sensation of what it's like there. Yeah? Yep. Then throw it up. Okay. And then from here, when, when you actually go to where the ball is, you've got to get the sensation here. Look, again, that, that sensation of being ahead, throw the toe into the ground there, which is very different to you because you are throwing the club this way. Make sense? Yeah, All right? I'm watching it. It does actually, when I'm watching it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, massively. So just get a feeling of throwing the toe into the ground behind you for a second. So remember, you wouldn't be able to throw the leading edge into the ground because of I'm this. Flipping round, yeah. So just get, just throw the leading edge of the, the toe of the club. I say the toe because you're used to leaving the face open. Right. So if you imagine, for, this is only for people that leave the face open. And that's what I'm doing a bit. You, yeah, so what you need to do is throw that toe into the ground, yep. okay, there, and you've now got that sensation of that. See that there? Yeah. And then from there, push up. Yeah, right. You already feel like you're launching up. So throw it into the ground first. Harder. Toe, no, now look at this. I've gone there, I you, have. I'm you, glad you've done that. See the difference? Away. Yeah. You've thrown the heel in. Yeah. Yeah. And as a, which is what you so that means your face is open, face isn't it? Is obviously, open. isn't it? Because I'm looking now, its face is open, isn't it? And this is what happens to a lot of people who have predominantly sliced. They've tried to get ball turf, yeah, but they do it like this with the face wide open. They wonder why they, they even shank it or start sliding. I'm glad you've done that. I've done that drill wrong. Because yeah. it's like, right, alarm bells to me. Yeah. So literally just throw it. Now, when you do it, go on, keep going. Here, look. Yeah. There, really throw. Almost feel like you, it's almost like you're getting, that's it. That's it. Now from there, do it again. Yep, so, into, so toe into the ground. That's it, now, now see the difference. So look at the face open. Yeah. Yep, throw the toe in, and then keep the hands ahead. And what it's doing, look, is this. 
you're not used to, you're not familiar with this, look. You're familiar with this or this with an open face. You're not familiar with that motion. No. That's the most obvious because the practice I'm exactly. doing it naturally like wrong, can't yeah. I? So so when you throw it hard, this is weird for you. So it's why I love the drill. Right? I think you know a great coach called Mike Bender actually originally came up with this and did a brilliant job. And so I think and it works so so well if you slice. Alright, so do a few more until we get it right. Harder. There. Just get that toe in. Okay, ready? Okay, keep going. Yeah. Right. yeah. So get yourself set up to this one now, okay? And just get that sensation here that you're gonna, when the ball's there, you're gonna almost repeat that sensation, yeah? I know we threw it behind us, but that sensation there, throw that toe, keep that compression. Jesus, look at that, Dan. Look at that. Can we zoom in? Because I know that's near the pin. And you, you were worried where you would reach the green. Have you zoomed in there, boss? See what I mean? I'll and look at, the bo look at the compression. Are you ready? Yeah. Do you want, can I be really honest? Yeah. I felt the smallest, smallest bit heavy as well. Yeah. And it still went like yeah. a... I had that little draw on it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Where did it set off this time, though? I feel like... Just round side of the pin. I, 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 when I got my line here, I've got it at just the edge of the bunker left. Exactly. And do you know what's also, what do you know it's about the flight? Oh, that will penetrate. Penetrate him. Yeah. So you're starting, I know this is just one ball. So that means compressing, obviously, punt. Yeah, I see yeah, what yeah you we're mean, not yeah. there yet. Obviously, that's one no, ball. No, 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 but one it was a good feeling, it's a wasn't it? Proper, so starting to get towards that proper ball striking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that felt really good, that. <laughs> Same again, drill. Same again. Just do it, do it, do it exercise first. Always, so when you're doing these motions, a lot of times people overthink it, right? Yeah. So what you've got to do is, is always just rehearse it a little bit. There at the toe, throw it into the ground behind. Yeah. Now you know where you're going, yeah? Right. As opposed to look, very different. I can't throw the toe in at this angle or the leading edge in if I'm doing this. No, you can't. I'm going to throw the bounce in, aren't I? Yes. Yeah? So that, that's that sensation and then you bring that sensation then to that golf ball, okay? I like this drill because it's on the course and that. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Now, look at pause. Pause. There. Coming in just a little bit here. Was it? Yeah. Get almost that sensation in. All right? Make sense? Yeah. Yep. So just, just pay attention to it. So when you're doing this, right, when you're doing the exercise, really pay attention to the, uh, almost feel what part of that club, the toe or the heel's coming in. Makes sense, yeah? yeah? Just take your time, get a feel for it. Harder, no, do it, do it quick though, do it quick. There. That would definitely be better. Yeah. I could feel yeah. that because it twisted my hands because it hit the but, toe. Don't know if you saw it on camera, you don't throw it here. Is that how I did it? Yes, right? So notice this, you've got to get the sensation. It's what a lot of slicers will do, you see, when they try and compress. You threw this in, notice this. But how much is this moving to get that toe down? A lot, isn't it? But how much of this is this moving? Not much. None. Yeah. It's not toe down this. Notice this. Look at my, look where I am. It just looks solid that and compact, doesn't it? Everything it's looks that right, way. It? It's not, I'm going to try and do this toe down. Yeah? So for you, the, the hardest thing is getting the sensation of that. All right? So when you're doing this, in back. So don't throw that in. Yeah. Keep that behind. Yeah? Yeah. No, I got you. Got you, got you, got you, got you. That way. It needs to be close. Right, okay. That's it, that's it. There you go. Drive it down and through, yeah? Okay. Do we have a go? Have fun. I'll do my setup. You can't just jump on them in it too, can you? That's it, take your time. So setup is always gonna be key for you, remember? Yep. Now Look at how that Did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> Get on the green. That has gone back to you now. I guess that, seriously. Did you hear the noise? Yeah. And that's a... So I didn't catch that first. That was solid. I couldn't have that any better. No. And, 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 and tell me, how, how straight did that go? That had the smallest bit of draw. Yeah. Smallest, smallest, smallest. Yeah. But the noise said everything then, didn't it? And how many balls? I think one of my own swing, then two of your drills. I've only hit two, but I've done the drill, haven't I? Yeah. So the thing about it is it's super, super simple, this. Yeah? You've got to, first of all, feel it. Yeah? Well, at first I was doing the drill there, then it clicked here, here, yeah. here. So yeah. obviously, it, it probably makes a lot of sense when you're doing a drill, 
make sure you're doing that drill right. You've got to pay attention to the drill. Right? And I got it wrong, the drill at first. And my, I just, but when you got my hands and went here, closer here, I yeah. could feel the drill better then because I, I found it easier to it. And that's the secret the to, on the floor. And so if you, if you slice it and you struggle, yeah, in any shape or form, and you struggle with compression, do it in stages, the drill. The first thing you've got to do is if you look at my shoulder here, get this, this is the action you're not used to. You're not used to closing the face this way. Yeah. You're used to trying to close it this way, which is why you were struggling, right? So you get the sensation of that first. Just get the sensation of that toe. Then what you do, why I throw it behind, is so that you can feel the shaft lean. Yeah. So now you've got a sense of this, you throw it there. Now the temptation, like I say, will still want to be to do this. So that's always staying this way. Look what that does straight away to my elbow. How many top players do you see in there now? All. All the time. That's how they kick. Might have a different backswing, but that's how they all come yeah, down. Yeah, I don't care what people's backswings look like half the time. You get right at impact, okay? Everything becomes easy, yeah? Throw that toe in there like this, okay? Get that set off on, on, in, in, on the right direction. You can see that's what you're going to get. Oh, buzzing with that. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Well done. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd love to see what we did with a driver, check this one out right here. And don't forget to come and join this guy on his channel, Golf Mates, right here. You'll have a lot of fun. And I do. they come watch you on the course because we've done the nine-all match. We have indeed. So, you know, they, listen, if you like Danny and you want to see him on the course, you can see him in action. Down below. Enjoy.